Welcome Green Wave Nation to a girls JV soccer game. Billy Davis here along with Gary Roy. Gary Roy's uh, they're doing a, a tailgate for the uh, JV and varsity team. So Abington is hosting Hull. Uh, first home game uh, that I've done. Abington in the green going right to left across your screen. Hull in the white going left to right. So good luck both teams. Uh, Abington is undefeated in their home games. So let me let me get myself situated here. Have a new setup. I'm upside the fence here trying this out and it seems to be working pretty well. Uh, I'll be set up better next time with a nice comfortable ladder. So so how now? Putting on the pressure, having to defend it. So again, good luck both teams. And across the field we have, uh, it's either a freshman or a JV football. I believe it's, I believe it is JV because they're, they're pretty good size over there. And it looks like Abington is leading 20 to 14. I'm not sure who the red, red uh, uniforms are over there, but uh, good luck both teams over there okay now I I gotta get focused on here course. so we got a hull throw up on the far wing how again in Abington territory and we see Aggie one of the refs uh, the ref on the near wing Aggie thank you for coming out and we have Steve over in the far wing hopefully we'll get him in frames sometime soon and Abington with a breakaway. Sends it back. Chips it forward. Make sure this thing is recording. And it is. And uh, over in the near corner. And that ball goes out. And we have signal. We've got an Abington throw over the near corner. Got a really kind of leaning on this camera here but we actually found a better spot to film this this work this this will work out well uh, especially next time we set up so that ball will go out over on the far wing and ends up going over to the football field and the uh, how player comes scrambling off the other side so we have a how throw crosses midfield Hamilton sends it right back, little ping pong action, going back and forth, and high chip, comes down, first touch Abington, and the ball goes out, and here we get a nice tight shot of uh, the official Steve across the field. So we got a penalty against Abington, we got a free kick from uh, number four from Hull. And she sends it up to the end. Keep it from Abington, able to come out, easily pulls it in. Oh, nice high boot. Makes it to midfield. Crosses now. Hull sends it back. And Abington with a breakaway. Oh, nice stop. She crosses it. Crosses it in front of the box. Abington still with possession, sends it over the far wing. Tapped by Hull, but Abington gets it right back. And there's a nice feeding shot and sends back by Hull, but Abington still putting on the pressure deep in the Hull territory. Hull now clears it upfield. My apologies, I got the sun right in the, the monitor here. It makes it very difficult to see. I'll use my body as a a shade screen. So balls down on the far wing, Hull territory, and that goes out. We have a goal kick for Hull. We got JV coach for Hamilton Kristen here in front of the camera. Thank you, Kristen, for uh, bucking up and 
coaching these athletes and uh, Kate, Kate Casey for the Vosity. So Hull now crosses Abington territory and still in bounds. Walking the line over the far wing. Cleared back by Hull. Now in Abington territory. Abington just working that sideline. And I believe we'll have an Abington throw over in the far wing. We have a very comfortable day today. It is probably uh, high 70s. Light wind right now. Not really going to affect the game. Unless it picks up later. I doubt it. So let's have good weather all week. Good painting weather. I'm trying to paint the house. So everybody at home doesn't need to hear that. But hate painting. Oh. But I'm retired. I have to. I have to do my own work. No excuse when I can do the work myself. So we get another hull throw over the far wing, and she sends it in. Everything breaks it up. Keeps it in bounds. Oh, nice footwork, but that goes out, and we will have a hull throw over the far wing. I'm sorry, we have an Abington throw. I'm such a hack. Okay, I lost the ball. Here we go. There's a breakaway, and the keeper comes out. Hull came charging in, but keeper easily got to it. Want to thank the Hull coach for coming out. Long ride over. Their fields aren't ready yet, so uh, they're going to be playing uh, away games for a while. And that ball goes out, and we will have a Hull throw. Madison, I just heard the coach call a, call a name, number 15. And there's a throw, hits the target, just gets by, and keeps it in bounds. Hamilton breaks it up in the near corner, and that goes out, and we'll have another Hull throw. And she heads deep into the corner, just barely got her in frame, but we got it. I do, I like this spot. This is a pretty nice place to film from. Okay, that ball goes out. We have another howl throw. And she throws it, and howl still putting on the pressure. Abington territory. And the fan, the fan on the shot, but the keeper for Abington able to come out. Cleared up by Abington and sent right back. Uh, shot on goal. As you can see, the flag up there. See the wind is going directly left to right across your screen. That was headed back into Abington territory. There's a chip away, and the keeper gets to it just in time. Chipped up. Again, first contact, Hull. Hull really putting on the pressure. And there's a breakaway. And very patiently, she uh, brings it back out, trying to set up a, a good shot on goal. Instead of just trying to wing it and take a shot prematurely. And that ball will go out. We have a hull throw over on the far wing. A little beyond midfield, Abington territory. Good throw and hits the target. First touch hull. And she chips it right on goal, and the keeper, again, easily pulls it in. Another good boot. She's consistent with getting that ball upfield. This field is a little shorter than the other field across the way. It is being used by the football team. And Hull breaks it up again. Uh, So the coach is coaching. Okay, I'm trying to. So 
So we're going to stop coming in. Number 42 coming in for... Uh, no number on the front of a shirt. Oh, 26. There is a number on the front of a shirt. And that ball will go out. We'll have a Abington throw over in the near wing, deep in the Abington territory. Abington tries to clear it upfield. The Howell just sends it right back. I'm going to try to fix my stand here for a second, so I'm walking away from the camera just for a second. Okay. So apparently the soccer stayed, stayed in frame. Oh, hopefully I don't take a Dixie off of these platforms here. Yeah. I'll be set up better. So Abington now clears midfield. And now Abington's starting to put on some pressure to Hull. Hull, Hull has it over in the far wing. And the ball stays in. Hull defender's doing a good job. Just uh, put a lot of pressure on Abington's offense. And she'll chip it forward. That will go out under the bleachers, so we will have a hull throw over the far wing. I think, uh, let's see, I thought it was number 30, but we'll get number four with the throw. And Abington with the first touch, headed, but still goes into the direction of the hull keeper, I mean the Abington keeper. I remember years ago I had seen uh, some of the girl athletes actually do a flip and huck that ball into the field. When they did the flip, they had so much momentum that thing flew. Okay, so we see uh, the official Steve across the field gets the ball off the football field and back in the play. Here's the throw. And Howell will clear it upfield. And Abington will send it right back again. And Howell will chip it up again, clearing it out. And Abington on the near wing now, and that goes out. We'll have a Howell throw. Howell coach there quickly instructs the player to, there's a breakaway. And there's, there's a goal. Got number 26. Congratulations. So 26 with the first goal. Crossed it, patient. Took a time, waited for her shot, and able to catch the keeper off guard. Well placed kick. So that that score is at 20, 2130 unofficially. All on the board, no, no score yet on the board. Uh, I'm not sure if they have a scorekeeper for the JV team, but I'll, I'll do my best to keep track of the scores. Yeah, come time for the varsity game, the sun will be behind the school, not, uh, not blinding me through the, through the monitor here again just do my best oh nice long boot deep into the far corner and that ball will go out we will have I believe I don't know if it was touched by Abington it looks like they're setting up for a corner kick and they are so last touch Abington so how taking advantage of this Number 18 in the corner, over on the far wing. Oh, nice cross. And she gets it. And I've got to guess, I believe it was, was either number two or number 26. I'm not sure, so congratulations, so now Okay, we do have someone on the scoreboard now, and just under 20 minutes, Hull leads 2-0. A 
did get a call from Jack Pacello uh, last week. I believe he will be here after he gets out of work to hopefully watch maybe part of the JV game and all of the varsity game. I want to thank Jack Pacello and Tammy Reed for mentoring me for all those years. Well, I'm thanking people. I want to thank Abington Bank for all that they do. Uh, big fan of Abington Bank. They've been so so good spots from the teams with everything that goes on there. Andy and your crew, thank you very much. And there's shot on goal. Easy pull in for the keeper for Abington. I want to thank uh, Gary Roy and Bob Malloy for helping me out with the uh, previous boys soccer games. And the keeper comes out and she just blocks it. Nice play by the Abington keeper. She came out, took took a shot at, at blocking the angle of that shot and was able to do so. There's a breakaway. Abington flying down the field and broken up, defended by the uh, Hull defender. Abington with an opportunity there. And we're going to cluster in front of the goal. So Abington with an opportunity now to put a, put a couple scores on the board. Again, I am rooting for both teams. So Hull now clears it up field. Now they got a breakaway. Uh, nice speeding pass, and the keeper able to get to it long before the uh, offensive team of Hull. I should do with offense instead of offensive. So that ball will go out, and we have an Abington throw here on the near wing. Again, we got a good shot of Aggie here. Thank you, Aggie, for coming out. Aggie, she told me where she lives. She has a little bit of a commute to get here. So, but I can tell she enjoys it. So there's some big things going on over the uh, football field. I hear all sorts of cheering, but I don't know what's going on. So I believe the red team playing against Abington uh, just scored. I'll take a look as soon as I can. And we got a crossing pass over to number 32 for Abington. Deep in the near wing. And the keeper able to get to it. Abington with their opportunities just could not capitalize on that. Hamilton clears it back in the Hull territory. Uh, Hull sends it right back. Okay, we've got a little ping pong going on now. A little table tennis. Okay, we got the one on one there. Hamilton wins that fight. Throws it over the side, crosses it, centers it. Hamilton being patient. Oh, nice back kick. And she shoots just wide left of the. Left post. So we got 44 coming in for Abington. And let's see, we got 32 taking a break. So got a goal kick for for Howell. And Hull clears it upfield. <laughs> and that ball goes out. And let's see what we got. We have an Abington throw midfield. You get so many whistles out here. So she seems how you get a football game. The whistle's constantly going. Okay, I'm trying to. So we have an Abington throw, uh, 31, pulling out of the back of the net over on the far wing. She gets a throw deep into Hull territory, and Hull will clear it upfield. 
Hell number 12 on the ball, and she clears it up, crosses midfield, but right back again. Number two on the ball for Hall now, 13 Freitner, and crosses it. She chips it up over the two. And she crosses it, gets by the Abington offense. Abington brings it back across again, over in the far wing, got a one-on-one -on -one and gets chipped up field now. Heading deep into Abington territory, cleared up field by Abington. 72 sends it back again. 15 on the ball. And that ball will go out. We should have an Abington throw. Yeah, we got some of the uh, boys' varsity team coming in the house, huh? Especially, especially Andrew Roy. He smells pizza, he's right on it. I think he's going to turn into a pepperoni. Got to fix my mic, rub it against my shirt. So we have a Hull throw over in the far wing. Again, Hull leads to zero with uh, approximately just a little over 13 minutes unofficially in the first half. And that ball goes out. We will have a goal kick for Abington. And again, let's get a nice tight shot of uh, Aggie. We've got all sorts of subs coming in for Hull and one sub coming in for Abington. We've got two coming out for Hull, three, number six, and we got number three coming out for Abington. Here's the whistle. So we've got a goal kick for Abington. Low shot, bounces over the heads, and uh, first touch by Hull again. And Abington tries to clear it upfield and does, but defended again well by Hull. Now Abington... Shoots it deep in the Hull territory. We got a one-on-one -on -one fighting for the ball, and Hull wins the battle, and she clears it upfield. Nice D by Hull. Moving too quick for me to call out the numbers all the time. Don't, don't use the roster because I can't afford the time looking. And unfortunately, I, I really don't know any of the players either side. So I'm looking across the field, and uh, Abington leads 26-20 over on the football field. Again, good luck both teams over there. We have 30-something. Uh, the free kick over the side. We have a 3-on-1 or 2-on-1, and 29 crosses it, and again, defended by Hull. And she chips it over, and keeper for Hull pulls it in. A lot of pressure on her, but she's uh, stone cold. And that one's heading over to the coach. And <laughs> good effort by number two for Hull, right in front of the coach. You always want to make sure the coach is paying attention when you're doing a good job. There we go. Easy throw in, and tries to cross it. Hull intercepts number two on it and Abington sends it back little chip forward now uh, number 17 I seen her earlier today with the ice pack on a leg uh, athletic training wanted her to ice it up before the game and hopefully get to play the whole game without it you know irritating her too much but she said if, if, if it starts feeling too much pain she will let the coach know when she will come out these players want to play and I don't blame them So Hull now heads it back. Abington with the header. Hull again clearing up field and Abington play almost she kind of reached for it. And the keeper just gives a little toe flick up, catches in the hands while the Hull player came barreling in. Now the Hull player was like a half a second before getting to the ball. So Abington just had to pull it in. And the keeper wanted to come out for it. Pressure, pressure, pressure. And how now, with an opportunity, she will cross it. And got another score by Hull. So 
So I'm gonna say it's either number 30 or number number five. I got them both on the screen. Uh, I believe it was number 30. Uh, but congratulations, either one of you. Uh, with just under uh, just over nine minutes left, unofficially Hull now leads 3-0. We get both teams fighting for the ball again. Abington territory cleared up field by Abington, and how one of the players came bowing in, and then his long kick, and that goes wide right. Another goal kick for Abington. You wouldn't believe the crowd that's here. I'm gonna take and, and pan. They they got a tailgate party going on here. Boy, the parents got this thing set up so nice here. So back to the game, here's a goal kick and it comes over to the near wing. How on the ball now. And cleared up field by Abington. I wanna thank Rick Roberts for uh, Mr. Soccer. For she, he might be joining me later, if he can, if he has time. He, oh man, I'm gonna end up taking the Dixie off these boxes. So we got a goal kick. She comes out to the top of the box. Wasn't a goal kick, I'm sorry. So Abington now break away. Really hearing it from the fans now. Patient, she back kicks it deep into the corner. And that we'll have an Abington throw deep in the near wing. And she throw nope, change of uh, players throwing it. Number 20 throws it in for Abington. Hull trying to break away. And she crosses it midfield. Now going number 17 barreling down over the near wing. She crosses it. So the keeper's going to have to kick it. And that goes out. We'll have a Hull throw deep on the near wing. Okay, I'm not sure what's going on here. Okay, so we got a we got a goal kick for Abington. Again, the keeper sends it over to the near wing there. And hooks it, goes out. Number eleven with the throw for Hull. Over to two. Having to close up field, but 25 right on it for Hull. And Hull player. Shot on goal. Keep able to knock it down, pulls it in. Another highlight save for Abington. Ball's over the, on the far wing. Still in play. And Hull's walking the line, pulls away. She gets a breakaway. Interrupted by Abington. Little tip shot deep, and that ball will go out. And I just lost my grandpa screen, so I'm gonna I'm gonna lock this down for a second, change out the batteries. Okay, so I am, I am back, uh, waiting for the monitor to turn on. I do have the power. Gotta just point the camera in the general direction till I do get a, a view. Here we go. Screen is back on. My apologies, but uh, battery died out, and we have a nice fresh battery. So we got uh, 11 taking a break. 
for Hull. Let's see what else we have. Uh, number three, 30, number 12. So let me get back to the action across the field. Finally now good. Hamilton now moving up field. Headed by Hull. Knocked around by Abington. Over in the far wing. We get a one-on-one, -on -one and Abington does clear it upfield. Now into Hull territory over in the far wing. Get a one-on-one. -on -one. We looks like we get a Hull throw over the far wing. Waiting for the signal. Yes, it is a it is a Hull throw. And good throw. Abington with the first touch. Little chip forward, she sends it forward, chips it forward. And Hull will clear it out the side. We'll have an, uh, another Abington throw. Oh, I'm sorry, we got a, yep. That's what I thought, the uh, the fan over there handed it to the Hull girl and she was ready to throw it. Long. Yeah, you, you give it to me, I'll throw it. So we get an Abington throw over the far wing. Good throw in and just goes by everybody. It goes out and we will have a goal kick for Hull. Again with, uh, okay, the clock stopped at five minutes unofficially. So I can't tell you how much time is left in the first half, but Hull leads 3-0 at this time. There you go, and Abington with the first touch from the keeper, but Hull defender brings it upfield. She clears it upfield, crosses midfield. Hamilton sends it right back. Hull will clear it upfield, but again, Abington <laughs> chips it right back into Hull territory. Working the far wing. Number 32 for Abington now. Sends it back and that gets cleared up field, but that crosses uh, over into the football field. Uh, unfortunately, I don't see any ball boys or ball girls over, over here helping out in this. Uh, so the athletes are gonna have to shag the balls themselves. So we get number six with a throw for Hull and she gets it in, first target. Hits her Hull player. And that ball will go out. Oh, no, it was still in. I'm sorry. We have a Abington throw with the far wing. Just a short throw. And I believe it's an illegal. Yep, illegal throw by Abington. Turnover. We have a Hull throw over the far wing. Just short of midfield. There you go. Gets it in play. First touch, Abington. And that ball will go out, and let's see. I believe it's going to be an Abington throw. Let's see if I'm right. Nope, I'm such a hack. It is a Hull throw again. I just guessed on that one, so. I had a 50-50 shot of getting it right, and it figures. Okay, the Abington now on the move. Coach telling uh, the Hull players to spread the field. A little collision there, gets right back up again. Crosses it. Now Hull on the near wing, centering it, and Abington will clear it upfield. Over in the far wing, and number five, Hustles keeps it in. Ball still in play, chipped up again by Hull. And she tries to cross it. Ball going back and forth, and we get a high kick. Heads deep in front of where the keeper is, and the keeper pounces on the ball. Nice play by the Hull players, and great save by the, the uh, courageous Abington keeper. She had a play of barreling it on her and she just jumped on that ball and hoped for the best. 
And Abinson tries to keep it in, so we will have a hull throw on the near wing. So we get 13 coming in, uh, 32. No, I'm sorry, it is, it is halftime. So we'll take a shot of that beautiful scoreboard. And at halftime, we have Hull 3, Abington 0. And let's see if we can get a shot of the football score across the field. And now the red team, uh, who I don't know who they are, but the red team now leads by two points, 28-26. So we'll take a break and be back with more action. Oh, we got the two refs in front of us. I told you, you guys are going to be stars here. Say hi to your fans. Aggie, Steve, hello. <laughs> Thanks for coming, guys. Okay, so we're going to take a break, and we'll be back with more action in just a moment. Welcome back, folks, for second half, second half action. Trying to finish the food that I have in my mouth. It was what a great tailgate party they put on over here. Had some Chinese food and some nice chicken and fruits. Didn't have time to sample much. The their halftime break is kind of short, it's like five minutes. At least that's what it feels like. So, so again, coming back. And we have uh, Hull going right to left across the screen in the white uniform. Abington going left to right across the screen in the green. Again, good luck both teams. See the flag up in the top corner there, still kind of waving out, but not really affecting the game on the field. It might be wind up high, but down low, there's, you can barely feel anything. Comfortable temperature, I would say, in the low 70s right now. I did bring a sweatshirt because it will change real, real quick. So we got a howl throw over in the far wing. And looking at the scoreboard across the field in the football field, we got Edmonton now leads 32 to 28. Again, good luck both teams over there. I want to thank the. Uh, all the uh, football coaches for, again, uh, it seems like the same people every year coming back, volunteering their time. Uh, Edmonton has had a really good football season. Uh, previous seasons, I should say. Uh, unfortunately, they had a loss against Hull, not Hull, I'm sorry, Hingham, 18-0 uh, last Friday, but still uh, a great game. Edmonton Division 7, Hingham Division 3. Uh, Edmonton always plays up. I want to thank uh, head coach Jim Keller for I don't know how many, 40 something years of coaching. Probably like me, you know. All that code order community service. He's like, I think he's stuck doing it just like me. So, Jim, always good to see you. So, number tw 12 for Edmonton, barreling down the far wing. That ball goes out and Looks like we have a Abington throw over on the far wing and took a guess this time and I did get it right. Again, I want to thank the two refs for coming out. Steve close in front of me and Aggie uh, over, over in the, deep in the corner over there. Got to speak to him a little bit at halftime just to say howdy. Very friendly. No complaints about the, the referee and they're doing a great job. And I believe they're having as much fun as the players are here. Boy, that food was good. And there we got a quick throw going along the, the sideline there, far wing, and that finally goes out. We'll have a hull throw. And Edmonton first touch, and that gets chipped up. And Edmonton now putting on pressure in Hull territory to see if they can keep the pressure going. Again, all the action over in the far wing. A breakaway by Edmonton. And cleared out to the side by Hull. Defended well. Let's see if I can get a close-up shot of her. And that was number 10 for Hull. So we've got an Edmonton throw deep in the Hull territory. 33 
right on the ball for Hull. And we got uh, got a Hull throw over in the far wing. And this gets by 42. No, it was already out. So we have an Abington throw over in the far wing. Chipped up over the 26 for Hull. And broken up by Abington. And she sends it forward. We're going to break away. And the keeper comes out. What a save. The keeper dove on the ball while Abington was crashing in on it. That's a highlight. And that ball will go out. We have a howl throw by number 30 right in front of the camera. Okay, we got a. Okay, we got an injury over on the. I like seeing this. this both teams are on one knee. We have an injury timeout at over in the. In the box, have an Abington player, and she's up. Coach Christie came out. She'll take a break. Hopefully, it's just a minor injury. Hopefully, we'll have her back in the game shortly. We have number one coming in for Abington. So, we got number four here on the near wing right in front of me. I mean, how could I miss this shot? We got a couple little fans right down in front of me. Hey guys. <laughs> okay, back to the action. There's the throw. Crosses it. How now putting on the pressure? Abington territory. Abington tries to clear it upfield, but Hull sends it right back. And let's see if, if they're able to get to it on time. And that will go out. And we will have a goal kick for Abington. And the Hull player uh, sends it over to the keeper for Abington. Let's get a shot of that beautiful scoreboard while we have a little stoppage there. And you can see we're just uh, under 30 minutes left in the second half. Again, Hull still leading 3-0. Over the hull now. Number four battling down over in the far wing, and that ball will go out. And we have a no, we have an Abington throw over on the far wing. Hull headed it and then booted it. Double touch there. And Hull defender number 12 chips it across midfield. Abington looking to send it back, and they get it beyond midfield. And she crosses it over the 39. Or 29. 29, I'm sorry. And now Abington chips it forward, and Hull clears it right back again. That will go out. One of the fans over on the far field, the far benches there, kept it from going over. Little chip shot there, and that will go out, and we'll have a goal kick for Hull. She will come over to the nearer side of the goal. Coach telling her down the sideline to the left, and she does exactly what the coach told her to do. And that ball will go out, and we have a foul throw. Got executive director Justin Shannon in the house. Hey, guy, look at that handsome buck, huh? So we got 11, number 11 on the near wing. Um, let me let go one hand. Justin, can you uh, charge that battery up? Uh, hopefully this monitor battery will last the next game too. We made it a little ways into the second half with that battery. As you fans know, if you were watching, so that, Ball will go out. So we got a corner kick for Hull. Haven't had too many corner kicks in the game. Uh, I'm trying to recall if there's been any. I'm old, so my memory doesn't last, you know, what, 30 seconds? 
So we got 11, number 11 in the corner, and she low kick in front of the goal. And the keeper for Edmonton, I actually, I, I can't remember the last time, I stopped looking at the monitor and I was looking at it to my own eyes across the field. Oh, Justin, I'm such a hack. You're going to have to retrain me now. There we go. So, Edmonton test it. Edmonton trying to put on the pressure. Uh, Edmonton now crosses midfield, heading towards the hull keeper. And she, she clears it ahead and she keeps it in deep in the corner, near corner of Edmonton. And that ball goes out. So, we have a back to back corner kicks one for hull. Oh. One for Hamilton, and I just took the Dixie off the one of the boxes. Got everybody looking at me. That's okay. I uh, let me just White, adjust this, up. and I will have to readjust this camera for a second. There you go. Okay, out. I'll wait for the action to. White up, white up, white up. And Justin, that's. I swear there was no whiskey this afternoon. Good. So how will the breakaway? We got a one-on-one, -on -one, the keeper against the, and that went off the side, unfortunately for how just couldn't capitalize. So I'm gonna fix this camera now. Let me straighten it out. Again, I got temporary set up here. Uh, I'm sitting on a couple of crates. Okay, again, how with a breakaway deep in the Avenue territory over the near wing, near corner. She's gonna try to cross it, and she does cross it, uh, defended by Abington. And she'll clear it upfield, but uh, Hull player, center field, turned around and shot it off. Now we gotta try to clear it up by Abington. And the keeper is right there, easily pulls it in. Oh, she sends that to midfield. Just dropped inches short of the midfield before it bounced. 29 for Hamilton, sends it over in the far wing. Tapped by Hull. Hull still putting on the pressure. Breakaway. And we get an offside against Hull. Yeah, it's funny. Over here on these boxes, and we get all the fans over the side uh, took their eyes off the field to see how I was doing. Oh, thank you for your concern. So, Hamilton now, and that ball will go out. And let's see, we have we have a. A hull throw, uh, and I agree. And the keeper comes out for Hamilton. There's a little contact there, uh, unintentional. And that boot goes cross midfield. Now in the hull territory, and she clears it back up. Nice. I don't know how she's able to twist around and get the ball to go in that that direction. She was almost went uh, 270 degrees. Hampton with an opportunity. Hull defended well. So we got a bunch of subs now. Three for Hull, one for Abington. 40 comes in for Abington and. Number 17 will take a break. And we got 26, 33, and two taking a break for Hull. So it looks like we have a uh, Abington throw over on the near wing. Really, can't really catch that, that part of the field. Um, Maybe we can set this up a little bit better for the for the varsity. Again, the sun has gone beyond the building now, so it's a lot easier for me to see 
the field. As you can see, the shadow almost hitting midfield from the school block in the sun. So it certainly helps my views of this uh, game. Hampton now crosses midfield and she clears it upfield and the keeper right there to pull it in. Again, now uh, we are just uh, under 22 minutes unofficially in the second half. Howell still leads 3-0. And that ball still in play, chipped up field along the, the, the far wing. It seems like most of the plays have been over on the far side of the field. So Amton comes in and defended again by Hull. And we got a trip against Abington. So we get number 11 on the ball. Got a free kick for number 11. And Abington defender, and defender by Abington, one touch, bounced it off the deck. Another Hull player come battling in, and the keeper able to, to secure the ball. Again, the keeper's having a good game. I know it's 3-0. Uh, she's been part of everything that she's done. And another, again, uh, Howell come barreling in on the keeper for Abington, and she pulls in in a half a second before the offense came to her. Abington tries to clear it upfield and finally gets it beyond midfield. Right, nope, didn't, didn't come back. Breakaway, we are three on one uh, Hull favor. Hamilton still putting under pressure. She tries to cross it and just missed. Just in front of the, f across uh, left to right, right across your screen, uh, just across the right post. Nice attempt by Hamilton. Have a goal kick for Hull. So I don't know what the final score was across the field. Uh, the football game is over. Uh, didn't get a chance to see. Matter of fact, they've all cleared out from the field. So I don't know what the final score was over there. But again, good luck the rest of the season for both those football teams. We have a corner kick for Abington. I think I believe this is the second corner kick for Abington. At least the second kick in the second half. Unfortunately, uh, I just can't catch her in the frame. The post is right in the way. And she shoots it behind the, the, the goal. So we get 33, 26, and two coming in for Hull. We got 12 coming out, taking a break along with 30 and 11. Gives a little handshake by the coach here. Get a nice shot of the coach here. Get a shot of Abington's coach here. So we get a goal kick for Hull again. She decides to go over the far wing this time. And I hear a whistle and uh, I don't even see the signal. I'm not sure what's going on. Looks like a, a free kick for for how there is, I can't see the number on the shirt. So just outside the box, Hull territory, and she crosses at midfield. And Hull sends it back into Abington territory. And now a breakaway by Hull, and we got an offside. I believe number two, number two was ahead of the ball there, I believe. I'm not sure what the, that was. Yeah, that's what it was. That's my story at least and I'm sticking with it. 
So we, the ball goes out on the near wing, and we have a hull throw, quick throw, and tested by number 24 for Abington. Number one on the ball now. She had a two on one hull favor again. Abington gets it upfield. Number 18 for Hull, and she clears it upfield. Deep into the Abington Terry. Here's a breakaway. Number 26 come battling down. Oh, just over the top. Just missed. Big smile on her face there. Uh, she had opportunity there. Nice play. Just a little too much on it. So here we go. I gotta be careful. I'll stand on these boxes. I already taken a Dixie off of one. And we got number 40 on the ball for Abington now. Good, Mike. Good. Keep the pressure. Keep pressuring the ball. Good. Number four on the ball now. And how with a breakaway again? We got a two on two. Now the rest of the teams, the rest of the players come up for them here. Hamilton player ended up on the deck, bounced right back up again. And how again, putting on the pressure. And that ball will go out. We have a Hull throw on the near wing here, number 33 with the quick throw. Gets by uh, the, the comrade there, teammate, and that ball will go out and we will have a, a corner kick for Hull. Justin Shanahan trying to help me out here. I swear, it's, it's not the whiskey. <laughs> okay, uh, put them on top of that, the, the black box there. Thank you, Justin. Justin's over here taking good care of me, as he always does. Okay, back, back to the game here. So, Justin, those are monitor batteries? Sweet, thank you. There you go, and there's a nice chip forward. High kick, comes down, headed by Hull. Keeps it in play, and that goes out off of Abington. We get another Hull throw. 33, again, with a quick throw. Not wasting any time, and we have another, another Hull throw deeper into uh, Abington territory. Unofficially, we're just above 14 minutes left in the second half. Again, Howell still leads 3-0. No score in the second half, all in the first. So 26, and that ball just goes out. And so we have a corner kick for Howell again. I believe that's Howell's second corner kick of the game. It is number four on the ball. Yeah, it's number four. And she crosses it right in front of the goal. I had to keep the camera zoomed back somewhat because I couldn't see that angle shot. I had to look over away from the screen. I am back beyond the fence, so it's hard to see deep into that corner. I'm stretched out like I'm doing a yoga pose over here. Who knows, maybe I'll get in better shape. So it looks like we have another corner kick for Hull. Getting eyes off the screen. Here you go. A little tap. Different play. Now she crosses it in front of the goal. That was a nice well played. But it not able to capitalize on it, but that, that was that was a smart play. We got 17. Coming in for Abington. Again, she came in early before the game started with an ice pack on her leg. And we now have number 42 taking a break for Abington. Happy to do both the uh, JV and varsity game today. They usually play at the same time, uh, but they're playing at different time periods. So 
I'm able to catch both games, not just one. So I'm sure the JV team is happy to see themselves on TV, along with the Hull players. You know, they can watch it on YouTube, whatever that is, in aventoncam.org. Here you go. A nice throw right on the far wing. Uh, see Aggie over there just uh, stopping the ball. She's got skills. Aventon battling down now. Putting some pressure on Hull now. And she keeps it in play. Sends it back. Crosses and defended by number two. Hamilton and that ball just gets chipped up over the top of the net. So we got 30, 11, and 12 coming in for Hull. And let's see who comes out. We got number 10 coming out first. And we got number three. And there's got to be one more coming out. One, two, and here we go. Got number six finally coming off the field. Okay, we got a nice close shot of Steve. Steve, one of the officials here. Goal kick by Hull. And just gets by number 10 for Abington. First touch is number 26, but Abington keeps it in play. She crosses it, but inter intercepted by number four. Abington sends it back, keeps it in play. She chips it forwards right at, at midfield, goes out. We have a uh, Hull throw, number 11. High throw, first touch Abington. Abington brings it across midfield. She centers it. And she chips it over to number 14, over in the near wing. Interrupted by Hull, and that ball just goes out. So we have a Abington throw in the near wing, deep in the Hull territory. There you go, quick throw in, number 10, first touch. Abington keeps it in play. Chipped out, off of the Hull. Number 18, another Abington throw. Uh, in the near wing, just about the same spot. And there's a quick throw in. Hull now, number 18, bringing it upfield. And number 26 interrupts it, keeps it in Hull territory again. 33 chips over the side, but again, touched by Abington. She crosses it, oh, number 40. Interrupted by number 11. We've got a one-on-one -on -one here. Both girls uh, pushing each other off the ball. Nothing illegal what they're doing. A lot of contact. Playing it so well. You know, the game is not a, you know, a, a, a light sport. It's got to be a lot of contact. You're going to, you know, fight for the ball. And they all are doing a great job. I'm impressed with it. I'm happy with it. Hopefully the coaches and the players are happy with it too. And that ball goes out, and I believe we have another Amon to throw in the near wing. They're going to start to weave a spot where they're throwing it in over there. It seems like it's the same spot constantly. Here we go. And that gets booted up field. Line drive by the Hull defender. Over to 25 now over in the far wing. The, the shade's really starting to come into place now. And we have Jack Pacello in the house, so I, I really have to be uh, accurate now. I think he's here to grade me. Last year, I think he... Uh, came to one of the games, I end up getting like a D plus. A, a D plus is still better than an F. So Jack, uh, I want to thank you for all that you do and your family. Thank you, Billy, for all you do. Jack has been my mentor. Again, along with Tammy Reed. I meet the nicest people, the best people around doing what I do. I would like to see, I would like to see a lot more youth sports done. Uh, I, I put in well over a thousand hours a year. I would like to see more youth sports come up. People, it's not a hard job to do, and you will meet the nicest people. So we got a goal kick for Abington. That wasn't a goal kick. So oh, I'm, I'm going to get a D again. Jack was right in front of me. <laughs> the keeper pulled it in in the box. I'm such a hack. Jack, I, I, I was just testing you. I was just testing you to see if you'd notice. No, I wasn't testing my, I was a hack. <laughs> Here we go now, number 11 now, fighting for the ball, pulls it up and she tries to clear it up field. Defended by Abington, number 31, has some contact there, no whistle. Number 24 now, putting on the pressure. She's trying to cross it and she does and 
Uh, Hall breaks it up over to number one. And a little chip forward over to the 40. And Hull defender just gets it out, clears it out over the 32. Now, tries to get across midfield, but number defended by number 13, and she sends it back over the far wing, and that ball will go out. We'll have a Hull throw over the far wing, uh, halfway into uh, Hull territory. Here's a throw. Keeps it right along the side. We got a one-on-one -on -one there, and and how chips are forward. We got a whistle, and I believe we got an Abington throw. Oh, offside. See, uh, I'm, I don't know. I'm looking at enough right now. <laughs> so, Jack, I've already taken a Dixie off these boxes already once. I know. OSHA would love to see this, huh? Uh, it's a temporary setup that we had to do this time. I, w I will set up uh, a nice platform ladder next time I come down here. But it's not bad being in back of the fence. No complaints. So easy shot to the keeper. She's at the top of the box. She'll uh, give it a boot, and she gives it a she gives it a boot. First touch, Hull. Hull player is coming barreling down on the Avenue defender there, and she. Bypasses the Aventon player. She put put the effort into it, Good. and the keeper dives on the ball, uh, left of her goal. Uh, keeper in the box. Another kick up field, and that ball goes out. Not sure whose throw it is. It looks like a white throw. Thank you, Jack. Uh, we'll get. Number two handing off to number 10. Waiting for the whistle. Uh, okay, so we had subs for Hull. That's why there was a little delay there. So I see the clock going below the five minute mark this time. It's It stopped on the last half, the first half at five. So it's still running. So we got uh, just under five minutes unofficially. That should give me some points, right, Jack? Oh, I gotta get a shot of this person over here. Semper Fi. We got a, a Marine shirt over there. So headed by Hall number 18. 15 barreling on the ball. And now Abington with the breakaway, but broken up by Hall Defender. Number 30 now, racing against number 20 for Abington. Working the sideline, that ball will go out and uh, let's see, it looks like an Hamilton throw. So we got a throw in by number 13, I believe it is. Over to 29. All plays right now over in the far wing. Got a nice golf cart. We have Alicia Reed in the house, athletic trainer, Abington alumni. Daughter of Tammy Reed, Tammy and Bill Reed. Great family. Yeah, there's a there's a big connection. You get the Chief Nuttle related, uh, related to the uh, Reed family. Derek Nuttle, uh, star player on the uh, Edmonton soccer team, also star player basketball, whatever sport he's doing. So how now gets around the Edmonton keeper. The ball's still in play, and let's see what we've got here. Okay, it looks like a goal kick for Hull over in the far corner now. It is. That's, uh, that's the first one I've seen today on the far corner. A lot easier for me to view. And that was first touch headed by Hull, but goes the wrong way. And number 10 breaks that up. 17 chasing down the ball, 12 trying to defend. And we've got a line drive across the field. And the keeper on the ground loses the ball. The Hamilton defender able to get to the ball. And that ball will go out. Uh, nice defense by, I believe it was number 26. So we got 44 coming in for Hamilton. 
And 44. I hear the helicopter. They're probably looking for me, Jack. I unfortunately I can't tilt the camera up. So 17 is going to take a break. I know she's had an issue with her knee. Okay, back to the view on the field. So Jack, if they were looking for me at the helicopter, they they missed me. I know there's a million dollar bounty on me, but you wouldn't wrap me out for a million dollars, would you? No, not even. Thank you, guy. I might wrap myself out for a million bucks. No, I wouldn't. I got enough money. Okay, over in the far wing, 32 on the ball now. She's running the line. Still in play. Still in play. No whistle and cleared up by Hull. And the high chip comes down and she heads it. And she finally clears it downfield. And Ampton on the ball and the Hull player out running. And I believe that was number 26. Yep, number 26. I believe that's her second goal of the game. So congratulations, 26. Hope, hopefully you get to view this on TV. Look for it. And we are at the two-minute mark unofficially. Clock stops at two minutes, and the time is kept on the field. 24 now, 40 now, and that's heading over to the far wing. Edmonton looking to put a score on the board before the final clock ticks out. And that gets by one defender by Hall, but chipped away by another defender. Hall's looking for a shutout. Edmonton's looking for one score at least. So over to the 31, center field, and she sends a line drive. Oh, deflected by the keeper, couldn't hold on, and just goes wide right. So we have a, a corner kick for Hull. We get the, let's get a quick shot of the varsity team. Hey guys, good luck. Mariana Pacello, you just made my day. Okay, let me get back to the field now. Okay, I, I did kind of miss the, uh, Corner kick, but that's okay. That's it. And that's the final whistle. Clock finally ran out. Let me get a hold of that scoreboard before they have an opportunity to shut it off on me. So, final score, Hull 4, Edmonton 0. Congratulations, Hull. Let me get a shot of the uh, victory team here first. Uh, that's my rule. Uh, the victors always get the first shot. Congratulations. Edmonton, good game. I enjoyed it immensely. Coach Christie, thank you. Nice to meet you. So that will do it. Let me get a final shot of the two refs here in the field. See if I can get their attention. Uh, let's get the uh, line up here. Good game, good game, good game. So that will do it. Uh, hope you enjoyed the game as much as I did. It was fun. It was good to have a get a, a, a JV game under my belt. We'll keep this going while they're walking through, giving the uh, coach, the, the, the refs, uh, a thank you also. So that will do it. I'm Billy Davis. It is September 18th, 2019. Good day. Be well.